Oslo is home to nearly 590,000 people. The city is well known for its live music, which comes in all styles. Performers liven up the streets of the city center. Those that are better known sometimes get to perform in Oslo City Hall, like saxophonist Froy Agra. A couple of years ago I played here for the, um, the Queen, the Norwegian Queen. And it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, hall and uh, it was really, really great experience. Sometimes Froy Agra also performs at Victoria, Norway's premier jazz club. But today Froy Agra is taking us on a special tour of her hometown. This is Grinleka, uh, one of my favorite areas in Oslo. And I used to live here for a while. Um, I've lived in different places in Grinleka. So this is one of the nice parks where people are relaxing and really nice to hang out, hang out here. And also many design shops around and many interesting cafes and places to go out in the evening. Grunlöka is a very lively and trendy district, but another part of the city has become the new in place to go out. In April 2008, Oslo got a new opera house and it's quite an attraction. I think this is one of the most beautiful, exciting pieces of uh, architecture we have in Norway now. And I'm so proud we've got such a fantastic building here. And I've been there a couple of times and it's amazing acoustics. And also I think the way that you can walk there on the roof is also genius. The Opera House has even been described as Norway's new national landmark. Before, it was always the ski jump in Holmen Kollen. Built over a century ago, it was the oldest in the world, but it was demolished in 2008 to make way for a more modern ski jump. Right nearby is a stave church. Norway still has 28 of these wooden churches, which date back to the Middle Ages. For tourists who want to see a, a stave church in Oslo, this is the, the closest one. And it's, it's very beautiful too, I think. The Holmen Kollen area is popular with residents and tourists alike. Another attraction is a century-old wooden hotel, which has a terrace offering stunning views of the city and the fjords. This is one of my favorite views of Oslo. Beautiful. Troy Agra's recording studio is a little out of the city on the grounds of the former airport. I'm going to show uh, the studio which, where I'm composing and working. She loves the peace and quiet here and the wide open landscape, which she says is ideal for writing music. I think it's um, probably one of them in terms of um, in the European standards, I think. It's probably one of the easiest uh, cities to escape into nature, <laughs> and that, I like that. Froy Agra also loves to visit Nansen Park, which is right next to her studio. Until 1998, it was the site of Oslo's airport. The re-landscaping finished recently, and even many locals have yet to discover it.